Welcome back to the Satisfactory Report. I've got a new guest for you this week, but first, let's do the news. Last week we got a short teaser showing us the nuclear reactor. Seems to be fueled by these green rods. Not too much else to say about it, there is this animation in which it drops one of the rods. Chase has confirmed on Discord that that doesn't have any mechanical effect, it's just an easter egg. Then this week we got a developer highlight interview with the concept artist, Sophie. She showed us some drawings for the medkit, we don't know which of these designs, if any, will be in the game. They seem to be drinkable, breathable and projectile variants. We also got a first look at some of the characters. We got to see Katarina Fox, who is the CEO of Fixit, who we're all working for. She's been described as powerful and intimidating. And also Steve, her assistant, who's been described as ambitious and really stressed. Sophie spoke a bit about the design of the engineer we're playing as. She confirmed that the character is indeed female. We also saw some concept art showcasing various colour options, but it looks as though those aren't currently in the game, but we might be getting something like that later. Jace also asked her about the food court that's supposedly on top of the space elevator, and we saw some concept art for that. I'm pretty sure they're trolling us, but who knows. There were also these little snippets of concept art, showing off some environments and structures. We don't really know what they are, but they sure are pretty. So now let's bring on this week's guest. Welcome to the show, Tiny Pirate. Hello, hello, ahoy. So, uh, last couple of weeks, the two videos they've put out have been this nuclear reactor teaser. I don't know if you saw that one. I did. And obviously the developer highlight with the concept artist Sophie. Yeah. I feel like there's not too much to say about the nuclear reactor video. They'd already confirmed that. Uh, I think it showed that you will probably need to find uranium and process it to fuel it, because it looked like there was a whole stick fuel in, burn fuel, Pull, pull dead fuel out type of cycle. Yeah, it does look that way, and it looks like you're probably not putting raw uranium straight into it, so I guess you've got to get it into stick form somehow. That does raise an interesting point. They have spoken a bit about ratios before. And not having ideal ones. Yeah. Like, they're not going to lay out perfect one-to-one -one or one-to-two ratios on things. Yeah, the feeling I've got about this is that they're aiming to keep things a bit more simple. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it would be easy to dismiss because they don't have some of the fiddly-twiddly bits. They don't have some of the Baroque curls and corners that yeah. a game like Factorio has to think that it's going to be super simple. I think the elements of uh, 3D will make things surprisingly complex and that you'll yes, suddenly realize likewise. that, oh my goodness, I absolutely need to stick this product in this part mm. of the base. And the only way to do it is to run like a five-story conveyor belt spiral. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's kind of what I've been thinking. I, so I think that will make some bases disgusting spaghetti. Yeah. And that will be a fun challenge for the optimizers out there who will be like, oh, I can totally figure out a way of scaling this through to the end game without spaghetti. And This actually kind of uh, harks back to this hot topic that's been bouncing around the community at the moment. Pipes. With the pipes, <laughs> yeah. So I wonder how that relates to things like this nuclear reactor. Lots of people have been saying, um, eh. surely you're going to need pipes to get water in to cool it i i i don't know like yeah i can understand the need for the interest in pipes there's not a lot of fluid in the game notionally water for a nuclear reactor i mean that would be traditional but yeah maybe they just go it's air cooled and be done with it i mean you can see it, there is like a pool of water at the bottom of there i think mm. as i recall early on in the q a jay said that there is no use for water so i'm guessing yeah. it just comes with its little pool and you won't have to worry about that yeah he, he sort of said that in, in the interview i sort of pulled out of him questions and he did say yeah there's no use for water in the game at present and I'm, I'm okay with that there's enough other stuff going on i think to make the game interesting the other thing I was wondering about this reactor is we see the mechanical arm dropping the fuel, fuel rod that's been mm. used up, and it drops it into a chute. Do you suppose that means we're going to have to manage nuclear waste? I don't know. It would be kind of interesting. I mean, they have said there's not going to be any concern about dealing with pollution. It would be pretty amusing if you did have to specify a dump or something, or I, maybe this is going to be an advanced building to reprocess, and until then it's just going to end up stockpiling. So you have to see what they do. Hmm. It was a nice little tease but I can tell Jace enjoys teasing us with this stuff. He does. He does way too much. He's a cruel man. He is indeed. It's his Australian ways, I think. But yeah, um, I guess the video we'll have a lot more to say about is the concept art thing. Mm, yeah. Uh, anything in particular in there that jumped out at you? Um, I was just pleased to see that they, just taking a really 
a smart approach to concept art. They're really thinking about the setting. So they wanted industrial sci-fi. And I thought that like Sophie's concept art really captured that really well. The sort of, uh, I don't know, what do you call them? Not dungarees, overalls. That's right. The kind of overalls yeah. look with belt tool. I'm just skipping through the little video now with tool belts and clips and all that junk hanging off. I think it's just a really industrial look. And you, you look, you're going to look like a, you're going to look and feel like an engineer when you're stomping around in that junk. And I just think that's a great impression to have. You know, it's that it captures that aesthetic. It's not ridiculously sci-fi in a way that um, doesn't suit the idea of all these slap down factories and belts but it, yeah it's just yeah, it's nice i think right. they've done a really smart job and oh i was actually kind of amused to see that the thing hovering above the base is actually a food court like when jay said i was just like lol jace what a funny sense yeah of humor. i've actually had this long-running discussion with jace about this where a couple of times i've put things on the wiki and then lazy said no no i was just trolling about that <laughs> and i've then just sort of been oh for god's sake and had to then rip it down off the wiki um, and I'm yeah. still not convinced on this food court, but I have finally relented and actually put it on the wiki. <laughs> well, yeah, the fact that, uh, I mean, they could have asked her to concept draw a food court just to troll the entire of Reddit and all of us. That is the kind of thing that I think they are capable of, to be fair, yeah, but exactly. equally, um, they like their humour. It's possible that yeah. genuinely is a food court. <laughs> And, like, I realised she says in the food court thing, she says after having drawn it with a little fish counter, she says that Jace has told her that she can't have fish. And I've realised yeah. that's a reference to when he was interviewed by Killer Drone. And there was this whole thing about, there's no aquatic shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, no fish. Just leave me alone about the goddamn fluids. The other thing I was going to bring up, the, if you scroll down on this YouTube video, the comments are largely discussing the gender of the character oh god i hate nerds i'm 40 and i don't think a lot of young guys understand how the real world works like when you're 20 being i'm sorry i'm gonna rant for a second no no feel free the edgy cod player who's like lol girls and 4chan jokes like, yeah, that's great with your 20-year-old mates, but the rest of the entire developed world thinks you're an ass. I've seen mm. wannabe game devs destroy their career on Facebook with that stuff. So yeah, I don't care if there's a woman character or not. It's it's still going to be jumping around in a spacesuit building junk. I mean, who gives a damn? I think it's cool that it's a woman character for a change. It gives something different for someone to draw. God. Obviously, I want to make clear that I totally <laughs> agree with you, and I think this <laughs> yeah. is ridiculous. <sighs> Well, I'm sorry to bring that up, but I feel like we had to in some way address that in this video. So to, to escape from that topic, yes. we see at 1 minute 35 concept art for the med kit. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's just that great slap together industrial stuff that, that is cool. Yeah, I'm guessing we're seeing different ideas for the med kit as opposed to implying that all four of these designs will be in the game. Mm. A med gun as well, so you can squirt someone full of health, yeah. which is good. A med grenade, I think it is. Oh, and God. some kind of attaching the Swedish in there. I can't speak uh, Dirk, Dirk Yeah, me neither. So. It looks like it's a breath mask, doesn't it? And a traditional med pack. So what do you think? What would you like to see? I think anything that can go disastrously wrong is appropriate so if there's a grenade and i can mix it up with the wrong type of grenade very easily that would be my ideal yeah yeah i do think the breathable one looks cool though yeah like just huff on that uh, yeah inhaler which will appeal to a <laughs> yeah. lot of the fans of the genre i'm sure i think they have that that sense of humor i mean they made goat sim so they're into yes. things being a little yeah, bit silly true. We get a first look at Katarina Parks and Steve, who are so far the only characters. Yeah, and we got a little bit of a look at an inside quarters as mm. well at uh, Yeah, I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Because I have seen people asking, will we be able to see places for our character to live? Yeah. Which that may be. Yeah. The Katarina Parks, I wonder, are they going to be like little pop-up sketches that talk to us? Or are they going to be like little 3D cutscenes? The characters look kind of cute. I'm guessing cool. they're going to be 3D characters, because I'm pretty sure this is just concept art we're seeing. Yeah, so someone. I don't know. I doubt they're going to be in the world with us. I get the impression it's only us on the planet. Yeah, and we're going to get like a voice call saying, hurry up and do this, or the tutorial, like build this, now yeah. connect it to this, do this. Yeah, yeah, they look cool. And I don't know what the quarters would be for. That's the question I have. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I don't know what you would actually use that for. Maybe uh, to go and heal up. It may just be that that's what you start with. It might be your spawn point. Yeah, that's true. I guess you do need a spawn point to return or maybe production stats or something to go review. You might 
might need to go That's back possible, to the base. Yeah. It's not clear that you have a lot of production stat information. No, they haven't shown anything of the sort yet. Yeah, I wonder if it's something they think will be obvious visually or if you'll want to track it. I don't know. In the previous chat with Jace we had, it did mention that one of the people on the dev team is one of these people who will obsess over the numbers and try and work out the perfect ratios and all that. So I imagine if he's got much input, if that's something he would want, yeah. I think it's probably likely we'll see something like that. In yeah. the game. I'm really curious what their plan is for post-launch. And my feeling is that if they're sensible, which I think they are, is they'll have a whole bunch of stuff slated. They want to deliver a, a complete game experience. But it won't be everything that everyone wants it to be at launch. And if it sells well, then they'll put the time in. And this is very sensible for a small studio to do, right? And we'll see all of these tools. But it wouldn't surprise me if a whole bunch of the kind of stat stuff is just left off at the start. Yeah, that feels like the kind of thing that might be available as like a janky developer. View. Yeah. Like Minecraft's F3 key. I do remember early on you get that very basic slapping a kind of weird miner on the ground and I think it just spits resources yeah, out. Yeah, the weird little drill. Actually, I think the concept art for that is in this video. I think yeah, I think you're right. First. Ah, yeah, that does look like it. Actually, if you look at 57 seconds, there's a whole indoors sequence which looks like uh, either a shop or a food court. She might actually even be drawing there along with consoles. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that screen on the left there. Yeah, that is kind of what? interesting. Actually, it looks... Wooden and barrels. The thing on the left, it almost looks like a market. It looks like a market or even like a boat. And it looks like a crate with pumpkins in or something, doesn't it? What is that? Yeah, it's hard to mm. tell what that is. <laughs> I can hear you peering at the monitor. <laughs> Oh, well, you can hear me getting too close to the yeah. mic. Oh, full screen. <laughs> Enhance. <laughs> um, I don't know if people want to build houses. I don't really see the point in that. I Just give me a, like give me a it's prefab. Right for this game. No. Yeah. I don't think you want to be placing chairs and tables in a game like this. Yeah. Just give me a shed to spawn in, and I'm yeah. I'm happy. I do like the uh, hot pink and yellow jumpsuit, though. That's fantastic. Yeah, I'm I'm just awaiting the option to spray my character hot pink, to be honest. <laughs> um, they have said you can paint all the buildings, so we should be able to make a hot pink factory. That's a cool idea. So you can actually come up yeah. with your own scheme, like all the grey ones are for iron, all the red ones yeah, are for copper. Yeah, that's exactly what they like were that. suggesting, actually, yeah. that you'd want to colour code them. I mean, if you give people tools to enhance their OCD, then um, that's a good oh, thing, yes. because you can delve <laughs> really deep on colour coding everything oh, yeah. then. Yeah. They confirmed that you can build on a grid, but only on concrete. Ah, really? So if you build foundations... That's kind of a cute idea. Is it ever required to build on a grid? If you're building a multi-leveled factory, I think you're going to have to build the floors. Because I imagine there'll be sort of degrees of steepness that your belt will or will not clip to. Yeah. So there is a screenshot. You can see there's like this spiral. Yeah, the spiral's fantastic. I I've wondered for a while if that's like a pre-built design, like you just plop down yeah, a spiral, or I if you kind that. of drag in some weird way to create a spiral. The other thing looking at this is it does make me feel like there's going to be an easy way to stack belts on top of each other. Mm. In one of the videos, you can see the dude running along. There's like a gold strip out in front of him as he's laying down belts. Yeah. And in other times, you can see them kind of click on the start point and then drag to the origin or destination and the belt mm. just kind of conforms to a shape i think if you're dragging up high the belt just throws its own i'm going up type step into it it's... Uh, so you reckon it's just going and build a spiral if you aim high yeah i don't know that I'm, I'm curious i'd love to know from jace how spirals built but he'll never tell us so <laughs> it looks to me as if there's definitely built-in mechanics for making multi-level belts. Because yeah. you can see it's adding um, ladders at yeah. uh, regular intervals. Yeah. No, when you actually physically see it all laid out in 3D, there's, there's, especially if oh, once yeah. it goes literally 3D and you've got junk going everywhere. Uh, I'm looking forward to that yeah. moment where, you know, you've got a four-player game and then three players drop out because it's like three in the morning and then one player keeps playing yeah. till you know, midday, and then the rest of them come <laughs> back on, back and they're like, what? What have you built? What is this? And you're yeah. like some madman in a lab going, "I, it, it works like this, just follow me, look. And now the system is something so complex, no one <laughs> wants to touch it. They're like, okay, we're just going to back away uh -huh. slowly. Yeah, you can deal with this. Yeah. You built it. It's your problem. It's not optimised. Uh, it's fun. It's going to be a game for doing that, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's satisfying to have a complex problem and solve it. Yes. There's a deep satisfaction from seeing that. The one thing I'm a bit concerned with is they 
have said there isn't anything like blueprints. Mm. I don't see how you could do that realistically, right? The best you could do is to ghost out where things are going to go. Maybe, but I'm just thinking, like, if you look at this point of the video, there's this huge repeating structure. I think that's going to be hell to build manually, Bob. Oh, yeah, and I love that. And then the next frame, you can, in the background, you can see it really neatly at 156. And if you mess that up, all that lovely lattice for the, for the second tier, yeah, you're right. If you had to rebuild that oh my god i feel like if not blueprints then some sort of copy paste or just somewhere placing multiple structures the same yeah i like to speculate even when there's nothing really to base your speculations on those are the best kind of speculations (laughs) oh yes wild speculations but yeah yeah it's been a good talk yeah Um, awesome to talk to you thanks for coming on the show absolutely thanks for having me have fun see ya see you bye